In the race for president, the attack ads are coming fast and furious. And tonight, WBZ political analyst John Keller is putting two new commercials from the candidates to the truth test. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Yes, hard to believe because it's very misleading. The Trump ad uses this 2020 interview clip. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. For prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. But they edit out the rest of Harris's statement. So that every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access to the medical care that they desired and need. The Eighth Amendment to the Constitution requires that, multiple courts have ruled. There are just a few known cases of prisoners and none of, quote, illegal aliens receiving gender-affirming surgery. Trump will always choose Putin over the American people. And now we have evidence. This new Harris ad cites reporting in Bob Woodward's new book, War. That he secretly sent Putin COVID tests while withholding them from sick and dying Americans. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. Woodward also claims Trump has spoken with Putin multiple times since leaving the White House. But that's based on a single unnamed source and is, along with the COVID test claim, vehemently denied by the Trump campaign. It's not you. All right, so John, the ads both touch obviously on hot button topics. Yeah. What's the strategy behind these commercials, getting them out, making them so big and so dramatic? Well, they're not just guessing. They're, they're poll testing all this yeah. stuff, David. The Trump campaign is spending millions to air the ad you saw because gender identity is a topic that galvanizes the right wing and they believe can raise doubts about Harris in the minds of all sorts of mm. other voters. It's so touchy, the Harris campaign has refused to say if she still believes what she said in that interview. Now, as for the Harris ad, polls do show a huge majority of Americans have a very negative view of Vladimir yeah. Putin. So refreshing their suspicions about the ties between him and Trump, that also makes a lot of political sense. It's interesting, all these topics, but you always say it's always about the economy, right? Yes. Yes. I do. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to stick with that right. for now. John Keller, thank you so much.